Okay, folks, we're back, and I have to be completely honest, this team is so stinky, I have no clue what it's supposed to be doing. Like, seriously, I'm lost. This looks like some kind of... Because I do play Pokemon Showdown pretty late at night to record these videos and everything. Oh, right, right, I do the battles late at night, and so this one is just like some kind of fever dream. I don't know exactly what I was trying to get at. I mean, Mian Chao? I've never played that thing. I don't even play. I don't even know if I played the thing in Gen 5 when it came out. To be fair, I don't know if I was playing Showdown in Gen 5, but I don't even know if Showdown exists in Gen 5. I'm rambling again. For the millionth time, I'm rambling. But we have Sableye here, so I figure this has something to do with gravity. You know what I think it is? I think this is. Let me let me just jump into it because this is this is a dumb idea. <laughs> Stinky MD versus CMDR Jow. So, the dumb idea is click gravity and then have a perfect, non-missing high jump kick, right? Now, Pokemon being the perfect game that we all love to play for all time, as I click Snarl and <laughs> Electrode is soundproof. This is just, this game is just so, oh my gosh, it doesn't affect Smeargle. Explosion doesn't go off. It's gonna take out the Smeargle only. You're in trick. We're in trick room because of Fair Giraffe. This game is cursed, man. I'm gonna click Dazzling Gleam and do some damage. I'm probably gonna click Snarl, get some drops. I don't even know what I'm doing here though. Snowscape. You're gonna set that up. I think you have Ice Body. No. Hold on. Snow Cloak. Okay, so you have the ability to dodge some moves, but you have much lower special defense, I mean special attack now. So I'm gonna choose Ursaluna, and I'm gonna do big damage with Hyper Voice. Sometimes you just gotta choose a good Pokemon and just click the good move and beat out whatever is going on here. That's the thing, you know, and that's why even on Stinky MD team, you need your Ursalunas, so that you could just play stuff and win. You know, we play weird things, we win sometimes, and <laughs> I guess the other times we get carried by the OU mods. Wow, a freeze. If this game wasn't cursed enough, Ursaluna goes down and I am frozen solid. I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to get salty here. You're gonna hit Oh Look, look, come on, dude, bro, bro, come on, Toxapex, get out of that. Toxapex is gonna click Sludge Wave. My goodness, my goodness, all hail the queen, Toxapex. Double freeze? What are we talking about? Is this really 10%? I don't want to go on this rant. I'm not even going to go fully on this rant, but... Pokemon Showdown plays with the percentages sometimes, I feel like. Am I the only one? Am I the only one who feels like Pokemon Showdown plays with the percentages? They put their finger down on the scale a little bit more and say, you know, 10% just isn't interesting enough. What if we did 11, 12, 20, 100%? What if we did 100% freeze on Blizzard for this player in this game? What if we did it? What if, you know? Now that I've got that out of my system, I feel a little bit better. I feel better enough to end this video. So, GG's to the opponent. It's the game we play. It's not their fault. You got the blizzard. You got the freeze. You got to take advantage. GG's. And thank you for watching and listening to that rant. I tried not to make it too long. But I hope somebody agrees, right? Anyway. I'll see you in the comments, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.